Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. As a pleasant surprise, DICE released the new Brusilov Keep map on the community test environment earlier this week, and it appears the devs aren't quite finished. According to the server browser in the CTE, another map is available in the latest build and is named MP Islands. It was locked behind a password and obviously intended for cinematic and screenshot extraordinaire Shadow 6. If there was any question about which map MP Island is, the server directly references Albion, the map designed after the German invasion of the Estonian archipelago in 1917. The map is said to feature the massive invasion of the Baltic Peninsula, where the German Empire attacks with infantry, dreadnoughts, and aircraft against the heavy coastal gun batteries of the Russian forces. The map also likely features the y Lighter transport, since it appears in the concept art for Albion. DICE has made no definite announcement on which map from In the Name of the Tsar will wind up next on the CTE, but there is also a chance it could be Galicia. The description for Galicia on the Battlefield 1 website reads, In the midst of the epic Brusilov offensive, the Russian Empire is fighting to push back the Austro-Hungarian forces in the Russian countryside. Take on an open map focused on infantry, cavalry, and light vehicles. A vehicle-focused map would be a welcome addition to the CTE since few players have had a chance to get their hands on the new Putilov Garford armored truck. However, since Albion already appears present in the CTE, I would say players should expect to get their feet wet sometime in the next couple weeks. Which map would you like to see next on the Battlefield 1 CTE? Tell me in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, share on websites like Facebook and Twitter, and subscribe for more Battlefield 1 news. To take your Battlefield 1 game to the next level, check out the Battlefield 1 Ultimate Utility app with a link in the video description. Thanks for watching.